Greetings, everyone. I'm going to go over the paying your bills assignment and talk about how to do a write a check and do a balance transfer so that you can pay all of your bills by the due date. So if you would prefer, I do have paper checks. You're just going to come up and ask for one from Mrs. Wadomsky if you'd like to use a paper check. Otherwise, I do have a digital document that you can use. But if you want to practice writing it on paper, that's completely fine. So for this assignment, you are paying your bills. Your bills are due by this date here. You are going to make sure that you follow these directions exactly because there are things in here like what password you need to use and how to fill in the checks correctly. So use this video to do directions for how to pay your bills. Check the virtual 2020 budget game rubric direction or uh, directions rubric for the totals of your bills. This is what you calculated last time so you know how much your bills are. So you've got rent, utilities, transportation, and your student loan. Those are all the bills that are due. You've got to calculate how much they cost. Then you're going to figure out which ones you want to pay with check and which ones you want to pay with the balance transfer or possibly with cash. You have to pay two bills with a, a blank check. So you have to fill out two checks or you have to con combine them together and make sure you write down what they're for on a check so that you can send that to me. Um, you have to make a, trans a transfer request for one of your bills. You can choose which one you'd like to do, though I'm going to suggest two of them to you because they're two that are kind of set up for the transfer. And you may pay one of your bills in cash if you have cash and you'd like to. You don't have to. Some people pay bills in cash. Some people don't. A lot of people use checks or just transfer money um, using a credit card or balance transfer. So we're practicing all of those steps. You've got all of the things necessary to do that here. You've got this Google form for your transfer. You've got your blank checks and you've got the um, list of your bills. So here's your list of bills. You can figure out what you want to do. Here are some blank checks that I'm going to demonstrate for you how to fill in one right now so that you know how to do that. So we're going to zoom in. We've got a lot of different parts on this bill or on this um, check. We're going to create text boxes in the space so that we can pay for things. So some of this you're going to have to kind of make up. Um, so you got to figure that out how you want to pay or how you want to do it. So let's say we're going to pay our rent for um, living in a place. So we're going to pay this to a person. So let's put down Ben Sample is the name of my landlord. That's who I'm paying this check to. So that's where the page for the order of goes. So I write that down. I'm going to change this to make it a little bit easier to read. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll leave it as Ariel for right now. Okay, so Ben Sample is who I'm paying my check to. So that's my that's who is going to receive this check. That's why when you saw yours, when I gave you yours, you got um, your name on there. Okay, then we've got the date, which is going to go over here. And we're going to put in October, uh, let's say 26th for Monday, 2020. May need to shift it over a little bit so it fits there. And I'm going to make another text box that's going to go over here. And I need to know how much my rent costs because here I'm going to be writing it in, in uh, number form. So I go back over here, check my total for my rent is $50. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to put a dollar sign 50.00. I always want to include the change. So that's my money. And then we need another one. On this line here, we have to put in the amount in written form. So $50 dollars and we are having zero change so we put zero zero over 100 that's just correct formatting on a check so fifty dollars and no change which is what's there if i had to pay fifty dollars and 25 cents it would say 50 and 25 over 100. then i've got two other spots here memo i would put in here we'll say rent for October, October, okay, and then the last one is I've got to put in my signature, 
Now, if you're doing this digitally, I wouldn't want to just use this. I would want to use, you know, um, a fancier script. So we'll change this to oh, lobster looks good. All right. So I'm going to put in my name in that fancy script. So it looks like I signed it. And then if you were doing this on paper, so the paper version, you would actually sign it. So you're going to fill this out identically that I just did on here, but on paper, if you want to use the paper format, um, if you want to pay more than one bill together, again, everything's going to be the same except for the total that you wrote in as the amount and the total in words and then it would be you know if i'm doing rent and utilities for october then i would put rent and utilities for october but otherwise that is how i would fill out my check okay when i am ready to turn that in obviously this would be attached here with your blank checks uh, and then you might want to change the name from blank checks because it'll say your name and then i would take out blank so i would just delete blank so it doesn't say blank um, because then that lets me know that you actually paid your bills you have up to three checks to fill in. You can practice doing it three times if you want, or you can um, collectively put all of your bills onto one check, whatever you want to do. But you do have to make a money transfer as well. So you're going to use the Google form link here, and you're going to figure out either your student loan, because you're going to do a loan transfer, um, makes it really easy to, to transfer money from your checking account to your loan account very easily. Uh, so we're going to practice that. Or if you don't have a student loan because you're in the just high school graduation, then I do want you to fill out your transportation using a loan because that would be like if you had a car loan and you'd have to pay, you could pay it by just transferring the money. So we're going to go over here to our transfer requests says using this form to transfer money from your account to pay bills it's going to collect your email address that's attached it's like your username for your pass or for your account then you're going to put in the password password is fcs banking easy 2000 and that's the whole password and you have to have that in order to fill this in correctly okay so fcs banking easy um it will kick back if you don't have it put in correctly it's going to say that you don't have the correct information okay uh, so like i see if i put in if i get rid of that zero and i try to go it says uh, you must watch the video to get the password so you have to make sure you put the password in correctly so fcs banking easy all capitals fcs all capitals easy and then the year 2000 your account number is what you used on your earning statement, which should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dash O, whatever your number was, or one, eight, whatever your employee ID number was. Um, transfer from checking. We're taking the money out of our checking account because that's where you deposited your money if you deposited your checks. And we're going to transfer to either our student loan or our car payment, depending on which one. If you have a student loan, I'd like you to fill it in for your student loan. If you do not have a student loan, then I want you to do it for your car payment since transportation. I put these other ones in here to be tricky. So you, you're not gonna transfer it to checking. You could transfer it to savings, but that would be a real life thing. Like it doesn't really make sense for us to do that for here. And you don't have a credit card for this. So that would again be real life, okay? Then you've got your amount to transfer. You have to know how much your loan was or how much your transportation is. So if mine is selected the car payment transportation, that is $45, but I have to put this in correctly. I have to put it in as money. So it says amount needs to be written in correct money form. If I don't put it in correct money form, say I just try to do 45, uh, it should kick back and say that it's not going to accept that. So make sure that you put it in as money so that we know how much you're transferring. And then memo, you could put in uh, October car payment, something like that. And then it says by clipping, clicking submit, you approve this transfer. Be sure to check your current balance with the credit union for correct amounts. You'd hit submit to send that to me so that I know that you've paid your bill. So that's the two ways that you're going to go through and make your payments, trans, uh, transfer requests and the blank checks. You need to make sure you know how much your bills are and you're going to fill out this, um, use this assignment to complete that correctly. Uh, let me know if you need any help. Otherwise, I'm expecting to see your bills paid. If you still need to earn money, feel free to do any extra jobs either at your house or in the FCS room to earn extra money. Thanks, everybody.